Hey guys, what's up? I'm Noah, this is Analog Resurgence, and I'm pretty excited because for the first time in like two months, well, I'm doing a roll review, and today I'm looking at Ferrania's P30 black and white film. <laughs> The last little while has been a little awkward in terms of shooting film and doing the roll review videos which helped me to kind of pace the channel a little bit better and make it easier for myself. But a shout out to Downtown Camera here in Toronto that uh, develops and scans my film and I have scans back and the first film that I'm looking at now after a break is the much requested uh, Ferrania P30 black and white ADISO Film. Back in February, I talked about Ferrania as a company and the road from being like a big name decades ago to shutting down and then to reopening as a result of a very successful Kickstarter campaign, but also the insane struggles that they've gone through along the way and the changes to their original desire. Now, I'm not gonna delve all the way back into that because that was a video that I was really proud of and that you can go check out. Uh, there's a link up there or down there. Verania is an Italian-based company and a little bit about P30, first of all, is that it is a bit of a legacy emulsion. It existed a number of years ago, stopped existing, and now has been reintroduced. So Ferrania's black and white P30 film used to largely be used by Italian filmmakers for motion picture films. So they were shooting this stuff in large rolls of 35 millimeter for movies. And you can see movies that were shot on this film from like the 50s and the 60s. And it's a nice looking black and white film from that period used in movies like Eight and a Half by Federico Fellini and in the movie Two Women, which starred Sofia Loren and was directed by Vittorio De Sica. These were also some Oscar winning movies at the time. They were popular, they were well known, people saw them and it brought some attention to Ferrania and the film that it was being shot with. P30 originally was for motion pictures and it was introduced just after World War II in the 1940s by Ferrania when they were a much more prominent company. So Ferrania right now is a much, much smaller company but it aims to kind of re-engineer and bring back some of these classic Ferrania stocks that existed at that time and let us shoot them again now. So that's what they've done. P30 is a new release of a classic film stock based on like the old formulas and notes that exist existed for it in its original form. So it's very much still like based on P30. So Ferrania P30 is an 80 ISO film. It's a black and white negative and right now you can only get it in 35 millimeter. The film itself has a high silver content and for black and white film with high silver content that means you get deep shadows and high contrast and also really fine grain. And this stuff does reflect that. Like it looks really smooth and the contrast is deep. And I've looked at some black and white high contrast films before but I, I like a good like smooth low ISO high contrast film. So P30 is panchromatic film, which means that it is sensitive to a wide variety of colors of light, like red and green, as opposed to just orthochromatic black and white film, which is really only sensitive to blue light. So I previously looked at ADOX CMS20, which is orthochromatic film, so the contrast and sensitivity of that film is different for the contrast you will get with P30. P30 is sensitive to a variety of light, so you could also experiment with colored filters to increase or decrease the contrast contrast in your scenes as well. I shot this stuff at ADISO. I didn't use any filters on it. I just wanted to like get out and shoot it just kind of like normal. Like, I mean, a lot of people will, but also it's definitely like worth playing around with filters on, on a lot of this stuff. And in the future for black and white stuff, I plan to do that more and incorporate it more into the role reviews. Also, if you want to see more film scans and like see the entire role and also all the film scans for all the roles that I do role reviews on, you can find a link in the description of the Patreon. All that stuff is available exclusively for the Patreons as well because I only show off a portion of the roles in this video. If we also look at it in comparison to another high contrast black and white film that I looked at, which was uh, Japan Camera Hunter's Street Pan 400, you'll see that that film, of course, does have higher grain, which is mainly a result of the fact that it is a 400 ISO film versus P30, which is an 80 ISO film. So P30, of course, is gonna have smoother grain. Both are very contrasty films though. And I think I am a little more in favor of P30 because of like the low grain and the smoothness of it. But JCH is easier and more widely available to 
buy rolls for. If I was shooting P30 again, I think I would take more pictures of people as well for portraits. Like it's got like a, the, the contrast really just adds like a look to it. And it is sharp and things look good and detailed. And I'm just really happy with like the shots that I got back. Doing a little bit of editing there, there is some detail that you can kind of pull up from this stuff, but it is still like a very contrasty film. That, and that is kind of impacted in the way of how you develop it. So this stuff was done at the lab using TMAC developer in a dip and dunk film processor. But P30 would also be really good for using like home developing and experimenting with a variety of film developers. So I think if I shot this stuff again, I would develop it myself and try maybe using like a lower contrast developer as well to see more information that you can kind of get out of it. It's going to change based on like your workflow and what you're using to get your images when you're developing. But for my first impression, getting this amount of contrast and like that smooth grain, I I'm looking at it and I, I like it, I like what I see, and I would love to shoot more of it. Hey guys, when I recorded this video, Ferrania's P30 was actually com like completely out of stock on Ferrania's website. It has since changed then in like the week or so, but they're back in stock on Ferrania's website. A lot of places outside of Ferrania's website are out of stock, like the Film Photography Project don't have it, but I will throw links in the description down below uh, for Ferrania's site to actually buy it in North America and then also uh, in, in Europe at least. Uh, so there are some roles available I guess right now. I don't know how long they'll be available in stock for but you can head over there and check that out. So um, y yeah, it, it is currently kind of in stock some places. Really what it comes down to is Ferrani is a small company and their ability to like produce film on a, a smaller scale for what is now a smaller market for film photography would be really important for the future because if they can do it, then that means that other people can do it as well. So shoot P30 if you've got it, if you have the ability to buy more of it in the future, I would also recommend at least giving it a shot for one roll and seeing what you think of it. But I think just in general, outside of like the story of Ferrani and all they've gone through, P30 stands on its own as a really sleek, really nice, smooth, contrasty black and white film. That and also it's not super hard to shoot either. You do kind of want to make sure that you're metering and paying attention to like your dark areas or your bright areas because you kind of have to decide what you're shooting for in your frame. An 80 ISO needs a decent amount of light, but you can definitely get some great looking images on this stuff. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this and checking this out. And keep an eye out on Ferrini's website for like further updates, hopefully at some point in the future about where they're at currently because of the pandemic, but also in case P30 comes back in stock. I know it's hard recommending a film that is not easy to get your hands on because the, the production of it is a little sporadic. Again, if you wanna see more shots of this stuff, then there is a link down in the description for the Patreon. Uh, you can head over there and you can support the channel. You can see more samples off of the roll reviews. There's also information for the PO box for the channel. If you've got a nice little box, a little surprise that you want to send along. If you've got some film, I've got a bag of film that people have sent that I'm going to be hopefully shooting over the summer so then I can do a bit of user submitted roll review videos. And of course, keep an eye on the channel because uh, there's more roll review videos coming over the summer. I promise I have shot rolls. I finally got stuff back. I'm going to be putting those in between some bigger topics that are also coming up. A lot of exciting stuff. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.